Hey, what's up you guys? I'm back here with another nail video and today we're going to be taking off this old polish that I'm wearing. This was Cool Cat Mom from Hello Taco. And I am using a Peely base so I can take this off. Um. It's actually, a, I'm recording this voiceover in uh, the pa the future. Uh, this video was recorded way back, as all my old videos are. I'm very behind. I just knew for whatever I was doing around here, I did not want these nails on for long. I just wanted them on while I went to the aquarium. And so we're doing clownfish nails. So I just did one coat of orange. I thought that was enough. So now I'm going in with not milky white, or you can just go in with any white. And you're going to make the white lines on the clownfish. And I just did it randomly. It was kind of stressful to um, kind of like figure out where they could go. Cause clownfish, they don't, intersect their lines don't intersect their lines don't merge it's like a ring around their body and so i really wanted to capture that aspect of the lines and obviously if you're going to do nail art don't use a quick dry formulation that's just not gonna work unless you move quick enough if you're a little speedy speedster but not me contrary to the video that this is actually just sped up if you couldn't tell <sighs> so how's your day good mine was okay I've just been editing videos all day oh look I'm going in on my thumb to do the white stripe I really don't know what to say right now cuz like I wish I had a story to tell you guys I don't know actually fuck screw it start over I'm just gonna say what how what I feel right now it's January 7th and I want I want to reset like everybody else but I feel like I have to get these old videos out just so I can like clear the draft you know like I don't want to be sitting on this old stuff I don't want to be sitting on the past I don't want to be hoarding the past as I go into 2024. I mean, I'm already in 2024. And look, I'm finally on my left, my, my, my right hand. I'm finally on my other hand. It just took so long, even though this clip is so sped up. Imagine how long the raw footage of this actually is. If honestly... If you guys actually hate when I do these videos, please let me know. And if you like these videos, please let me know and I will continue to do more of it. That's the kind of phase that I'm in right now with my YouTube channel. I have 26 subscribers and I would like to thank those 26 subscribers right now. Thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your continued support and you know what i would like to get to uh 30 subscribers actually i really want to get to 30 subscribers i would like to get to 50 subscribers and you know what my real goal this year is just 100 i would like i would very much appreciate 100 subscribers this year at the very least the goal is to always shoot for more the goal actually the goal here is to be the best that i can be and to archive my own life, my life through my eyes in the best way that I know how because I went to school for film. I'm a filmmaker. I'm a creative storyteller and that's what I want to do. But I'm also kind of shy, but it's just one thing that I've learned about YouTube is that nobody is watching. I mean, eventually, 
hopefully there'll be a bunch of people watching but right now nobody is watching so it's the time to try different things you know and I just want to see what works for me I want to see what I like not just on YouTube but ways that I can grow that still feel like me but I also want to progress so I don't know if I have to feel uncomfortable to progress because that's what people say like you gotta you gotta be uncomfortable to change to move forward and I'm like I don't want to move forward if I have to like do something bad or like give up my morals you know whatever cat williams is talking about right now you know because he's actually saying some words right now but like y'all don't want to hear that but you know what and that's the thing so far in 2024 everything that's been said has already been said before by somebody else but y'all just weren't ready to hear it yet and you know what that's not my truth to tell i don't know what i'm talking about I'm literally just rambling right now. <laughs> but anyway, back to the nail art. Um, I just outlined the white stripes with black so that they further resemble the clownfish nail. You guys wanna hear some facts about clownfish? So there are apparently different types of clownfish. Allard's clownfish, omen clownfish, cinnamon clownfish, barber's clownfish, pink skunk clownfish, Australian man clownfish. There's like 30 species of clownfish. But we're going for Australian man clownfish vibes. Clownfish prefer warm water. As a result, they live in oceans near several Asian countries in Australia. These oceans include the Indian Ocean, the Red Sea, the Great Barrier Reef, and the Pacific Ocean. Clownfish can also be found in oceans near Malaysia and Japan. Clownfish are omnivores, which means that they can eat both plant and animal matter. They eat zooplankton, larvae, and algae. Clownfish typically live for 3 to 10 years. However, people who have bred clownfish in aquariums have stated that they can live up to 20 years. Wow. Clownfish have a mutualistic and symbiotic relationship with sea anemone. A symbiotic relationship simply means that the clownfish and the sea anemone share various benefits with each other that help them thrive. The plant glitch. The, plant, the plants give the clownfish food and offer them protection from predators, while the fish also protect the anemones from dangerous predators. The excrement that the fish produce with their bodies provides the anemones a source of nutrition as well. I'm reading these facts off of a website, coolkidsfacts.com. These are pretty cool facts about clownfish, right? I did not know that the anemone did use their poop though, but you know, it like makes sense. Clownfish survive sea anemones because they're poisonous and venomous. They're not both, but they're one. <laughs> they're obviously one. Um, I think they're venomous. Anywho, while sea anemones are often lethal to other fish using their tentacles to poison and sting fish, clownfish are not affected by them. In fact, clownfish have a thick layer of mucus on their skin which protects them from the sea anemone. Some studies believe that the mucus layer is made up of sugars and not proteins, which means that the anemones don't see the clownfish as a source of food. Yeah, I know that one. I learned most of these while I was at the aquarium, but this one, 
Clownfish are monogamous. While researchers don't know much about the mating habits of clownfish, they have found that these fish are monogamous. Polygamy isn't practiced among these fish. If the dominant clownfish dies, the male partner will, will either become a female clownfish himself or find a new female mate. Oops, looks like my nails are done. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed these clownfish facts and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!